Splitting Hairs Free <laughs> Salon Education Podcast starts now. Featuring Matt Beck, Christina Cavalcanti, Brian Hare, and Carly Wareheim. T- today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. Oh, MinervaBeauty.com. You got nothing? Not you. Really? Just music. I hear you. The whole time, did you not have me? No. Oh. And you're just telling me now? <laughs> can I what? <laughs> Wait, uh, can... Just take one ear out. Here Is that better? I mean, yes, I can hear you. That's Speaking so six weird. Feet away. That makes no sense. Oh. All right. Anyways, welcome to the show. <laughs> I think we're running out of time. Otherwise, I would try to fix it. Um, Is that screenshot time or clock time? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Did, uh, can I explain that? Can everybody else hear me? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it just didn't, you can't make it to that end of the day. Yeah, I'm too far away. Okay. <laughs> uh, is it a solo thing, Chris? Is there a green button pushed, actually, now that I'm thinking? How about now? How about now? Nope. None of you. Okay. All right. Well, it is what it is. Sorry, Brian. As long as everyone else can. Yeah. Um, welcome to the show, guys. Uh, fun uh, 30 minutes with you guys this morning. Um, hit that notification bell. Also, subscribe subscribe to the channel. Um, my brain's been doing that lately. Like, I literally am thinking faster than my words come out of my mouth. Um, actually, I don't think I'm thinking fast, but, you know. <laughs> Maybe your mouth's just slowing down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my thinking has stayed the same. Um so, uh, we got Brian here with me. Hello. Yeah, you do. Carly. Hi. Christina. Hey. Um, and yes, the show is brought to you by MinervaBeauty.com. If you're looking to upgrade your salon or barber shop, um, go check out our friends at MinervaBeauty.com. They've helped over 175,000 uh, beauty businesses worldwide, um, and they're there to help. they got a huge warehouse in Monroe, Georgia. Um, we're offering, if you guys are on our email list, um, or just use the code, I think it's FSE20. Um, they also have a Memorial Day sale going on uh, right now as well, up to 65% off. So tons of things, tons of ways to get discounts and upgrade your salon. And uh, also, I just want to let everybody know out there, a uh, little update. Uh, I am going to be at the Mevo on tour on June 10th uh, in New York City. I'll be doing a 30-minute talk on social media. Um, so basically, they're... They're saying if you're ready for the time of your life in New York City. So they got some things planned. It's at a really famous building, I guess. I don't know. Um, They said it to me, and they said they were kind of talking to me like it was a big deal. I don't know much about buildings in New York City. So (laughs) I'll learn about it when I'm there. How Uh, dare you even look it up and see? (laughs) I'm going to. It's like the Empire State Building or something. (laughs) (laughs) Apparently, some big deal in New York City. Have you ever heard of that city? It's New funny. York it's like city. Madison Square Garden. It's, it's like a little place that someone's heard of. Bat- Batman. <laughs> oh. He's going to the lair. To the lair. Um, so, social media class. Also, John Harms, owner of uh, the company, is speaking as well. So, tons of like minded people there to grow your business, help you guys out, and just have a good time uh, in New York. On June 10th, so get your tickets at Mevo.com slash Mevo-on-tour. Um, all right, cool. So last week, we talked about the, the whole pill thing. And uh, as I was talking to Christina last night, we, we don't really want to get back into that conversation. But I did think that this um, person, you know, kind of summed it up. Mm. What is she? I can't see I disagree. Her. I need to fix this because I can't see Christina on the other side of that computer. And... What's wrong with looking at us? Well, no, but I read off. <laughs> I read off of her face what's happening, and so I'm in the dark. I know, right? So Everybody does. That, yeah. that, that makes I know. This fun. I know. Um, so she. So it's like blocked, so we right. can just laugh at Matt, and he has no idea. I know. Um, I feel like I'm all alone over here. It's uh, Anna. Anna O's is on uh, YouTube. Said it's too easy now to uh, do your own gray touch up and maintain it longer with a root touch-up spray or powder. A pill-reversing product will not ruin the industry. That's fear-based thinking. Other services will be created as they always are. Um, Just like self-checkout didn't ruin cashiers, 
uh, as they simply transferred to other jobs, it's inevitable the pill is coming. So there's a lot of things in this that I wanted to bring up other discussions. Ooh. I just want to run down the list of all the reasons that I disagree with pretty much every sentence in that comment. <laughs> and that's totally fine. <laughs> Not that I want to fight with our yeah, listeners. Yeah, this gets into a little bit more than just the pill. She's, well, the, I, she's listen, the one person that commented, so let's not scare her off. No, but I don't want to scare her off. <laughs> I, I enjoy oh, no. a conversation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, no. It's I don't, a good like, conversation. The basis of our... I mean, our job is haircuts because everyone's always going to need them. I'm not saying it's going to destroy the industry. Yeah. What I'm saying is it's something that is going to take a huge chunk out of the money that's brought in. Yeah, of course, there are ways that people can do their own stuff at home. But like, that's not everybody that not everybody does that. Yeah. And as far as the cashier thing, like, I'm not sure you understand how that works. But the self checkout is so they don't have to hire cashiers. They didn't put them in other places in the store. Yeah. It's to save money on labor. So it's not a great analogy for the point you're trying to make. It is actually kind of funny though, because when I go to the grocery store now, like it's there's awesome. still quite a few people hired there. They're just all watching. They're just you milling around. Yeah. Check out. Like one yeah. night I decided to go to the guy who like the old guy who's running a register. And I was like, all right, fine. Like I'll give him some job security. And I'm going through and I was like, okay, never mind. I can do this myself so much faster. It is a tough, but that's the thing. Like that's the evolution of, Yeah. I think one thing that I liked about this comment is that you do have to think differently. Like we can't dwell on the evolution of things getting changing right. and, and becoming different. Like, obviously all of us are scared if there was a pill that, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not scared. I, think that I, don't I just like, think like, like all right, well, that's going to take it's a, just, a, we're going to have to figure out how to pivot. Yeah. You got to, it's just like the, like I said, I was listening to a podcast last night about the whole, it was about the whole red lobster closing down thing, but really just about the food industry in general mm -hmm. and how everyone is having to work so hard to figure out, how to change and update and evolve everything from like Starbucks and McDonald's all the way through casual dining to stuff like Red Lobster. Like they just can't get people in anymore. Like we are a completely yeah. different culture than we were 20 years ago. Yeah. That's like movie theaters too. Like we have yeah. everything on streaming services, but like I love going to the movies. So I'm right. still going to go. But the it's movies. more of a treat now than yeah. a, the only way to do it. it yeah. Because yeah. now it's like, oh yeah, I want to see that. I'll wait three months and just watch it at home. Right. Or like, I'm really hungry. The The option to go out to eat now is so far down the list of what I can have brought to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like things yeah. are just changing. And, yeah. you know, if this pill comes and we got to figure out how to change too, so be it. But I love every day that it's not here. Yeah. yeah. And I think in every different one of those industries, I think they're trying to do what the majority wants because age has something to do with it too. Like not everyone feels or thinks the same way about the checkout or... Yeah. The old guy behind the chat. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I just think it's just majority rules in a lot of those instances. Yeah. And it's figuring but, out what people are wanting as they want it. Yeah. I just don't think the fear based thought like that's not I don't think any of us came across as nah, fearful of it or scared. If anything, we're all pretty much in the loop of tech of somewhat of yeah. it, social media. And I don't I think it was just more of a conversation. I just don't like yeah. people telling me I'm fearful of something when I'm not really but. false <laughs> Tad condescending. it's also about no uh, no I you. mean <laughs> yeah yeah like and I, I yeah. like the open dialogue in the conversation I just you know I'm just not we're not fearful of it I don't think we came across as that oh. yeah agreed we are not trying to be dismissive mm -mm. unless you were four that's why um sorry I was literally just talking to myself um <laughs> that's what a podcast is for <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> also the evolution of businesses too, because we were just talking about Red Lobster and, yeah. and Chris, you were, weren't here yet, but Brian was, they're actually hunting out a, the, one of the few. Yeah, my best friend and I are going oh, there really? yeah. this weekend. We're like cool. hitting the road. The we're going to go find one. I get those shrimp. <laughs> and, and then the I shrimp. told him about my, uh, shrimp, uh, oh, yeah. street corn that I had. <laughs> That's why they're closing. It was literally yeah. shrimp. <laughs> And then also, too, we were talking about it is good, like bankruptcy has such a bad name, which obviously you never want to. But I believe with the government and tax and stuff, like it is good for them. Yeah, to them all I've ever heard is the way to get rich out. on a business is to bankrupt Yeah, it. so like let's not all be ignorant or dumb to all that. Too. Yeah, like so, that they're like completely, yeah. they're just resetting mm -hmm. and right. rebranding. Like that's what this, and, the thing yeah. I was listening to last night, like the company that 
is sort of taking it over and spearheading this whole thing has successfully revived businesses in the past. Yeah. Like it may be a little smaller at first and hopefully quite different, but they are optimistic that they will not go extinct. So, Mm -hmm. and again, all these businesses are probably trying to figure out the best way to go direct to homes, you know, like, uh, with the door dashing and all that stuff. So, um, so yeah, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. We love, uh, seeing your comments. Obviously that's what builds this show. Uh, that's why I want to put your guys's comments in these, uh, discussions because that's what it is. It's not just us sitting here thinking we know everything. It's about, uh, growing the community and sharing (laughs) except for Brian. I think he, um, so why second second topic here why is the majority of stylists um why do they not last in this industry this is a conversation somebody commented on one of my videos sparked this question in my head um and i know i you know i've figured out how to make a career i don't love being behind the chair all the time i do enjoy a lot of the conversations i have with some of my people that i have um but for me I get more enjoyment out of the education side of the business. I think it's one of the greatest things about this industry is that it's very flexible and you can find a path no matter what type of person you are, what you like. Um, I know Brian's been in it like, and he loves it and you're behind the chair, you know, all that was like, that was a huge aha when I started beauty school. Like I, I started it like, yeah, all right, I'm ready to do hair. And then as soon as I got into it, learned that there's so many avenues that you can go. Yeah. You just have to find what's for you. Like I went to beauty school with a girl. She was dying to get through school just so she could go work in a morgue and do dead people hair. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey, you know, there's someone's got to do that job. Yeah. And I think it's important to figure out how to use the vehicle of doing hair to get what you want for a career. Yeah. You know, like there was a period of time where I was super jazzed about just doing education i was doing a zillion classes a year and you know now i'm transitioning more into just finding so much joy being behind the chair and like that's that's filling my cup right now and but there may come a day where i want to go do session work or work on shoots or whatever and it's it's cool that we can do that yeah so as far as the question of why people don't make it i don't know if they're not finding their lane yeah i think I definitely agree with all of that and watching each and one of our employees, like the way that they find what, you know, triggers their happiness with doing hair. Like, Brian, you're pretty like you like to talk behind the chair. You like to get into your clients lives and not everyone likes to do that. Right. Not everyone can do that behind the chair. Like, you know, that's becomes with age, too, sometimes or let's say through your 20s, you were big on the education and whatnot. And you were like, oh. I want to be driving around. I want to go to this class. I want to do that. I want to travel. And then all of a sudden you're like, you know, I need some quality time at home. I want to revisit that peacefulness or, so I think it definitely is like, again, through your years of where you are in your stages. And then also like you said, finding that vehicle of what drives you to what you love about doing hair. Totally. Yeah. And I want, I'd like to challenge people that do listen to this show that are maybe starting out or just feel a little bit lost in the career to try a lot of different things because there is a lot of opportunities volunteer try things make uh, relationships with people um i know like carly Uh you've been doing hair for a while i think in my head it also makes me think like ownership uh, of a business and what you push employees to do um can sometimes make it a discouraging uh, line of work as well. Yeah. Like um, if you are made to do certain things that you don't really have a passion for, I think as owners, it's our responsibility to figure out what the passion is and just make sure that they're set up to, to have that mm-hmm. as opposed to like you're taking graphic design school now, or you're going to graphic design school now, uh, which is a great other side of being artistic mm-hmm. and also can cater to this industry as well. Like I, I edit yeah. videos, you know, like, so, um, you know, finding that that's a passion that Carly currently has doesn't mean she'll even have it in 10 years because I'm in yeah. and out of everything all the time too. But, um, going in on that and just saying, yeah. all right, let's, you know, you have a passion for that. Let's go all in on that and figure it out and, mm-hmm. and, you know, see if you like it. So, um, you know, I think it's, 
I think a lot of the burnout in this industry is that you're just put behind a chair and whether you like it or not, this is, you have to do this. Um, maybe you don't even love doing highlights. Maybe you don't love doing, you know, eyebrow yeah, waxing or whatever it is, you know? And oh, yeah, what's that? Oh, no, I was just going to say like a long time ago, we definitely looked at each of you guys and what you were strong at. And I know that doing certain men's haircuts or fades or whatnot, a lot of you didn't love doing. And yeah. so we didn't, we, you didn't have to, we weren't right. like a salon that's like, yeah. well, we do everything because we're, but you didn't love it and you're not good at it. Like you can do it, but you're not best at it. And you right. know that. And I think when we did that, it was like, well, we would get phone calls. Well, you don't, you don't do men's whatever. And it's like, well, we have one person available right now. That's who we have. Yeah. And you just don't and take the business because just and because you're just supposed because, yeah. to. Right. And yeah. I like you saying that makes me think like, that's great. I mean, that's, that's wonderful that you guys support that. But I think what's really important for the stylists themselves is that self-awareness of yeah. Oh, yeah. what's gonna, mm -hmm. what's gonna work and what's not going mm -hmm. to work. Cause they feel like, I don't know if it's like the American culture or small business culture, but like, I remember even from beauty school, you're sort of going through this with the understanding that one day you will own a salon. And it's just like, that was in the back of my head for so long. And it's like, all right, yeah, one day I'll get there and it's going to be this and it's going to be that. And I think one benefit that I had was like fresh out of school, I worked in quite a few different salons at very different ends of the spectrum. Like mm -hmm. I did everything from super cuts to the cool, trendy city salon to like the super, super fancy Princeton salon and kind of like piecemeal together what I wanted out of my career. And even now, like I get clients because I've been here for so long that are like, Oh, you should open your own place. And I have realized for me, and I, I share with them, I said, the only reason that I'm as good as I am at this job is because this is all I have to worry about. Like, if I have to be the owner of this, my mind is going to be in so many different directions about yeah. the bills, the taxes, the mm -hmm. back bar, the all the stuff that would take me away from mm -hmm. being able to be in this with you right now. So I don't think that that's the best move for me. That's, that's a good... Actually oh. a great... Um, uh, like that's a self-awareness thing. Like that's a great, you know, just understanding that is a, is a yeah. big deal, you know, to, to build off of too, like working somewhere where you have good owners. Like we're very fortunate for both of you because I've now worked in a, a place where like, I didn't really feel valued. And so that kind of triggered something in me of like, do I love this or is it my work environment that I don't love? Yeah. Um, so having you know just make sure that you're valued in your workplace and yeah mm -hmm. yeah just treat and that's everywhere yeah. yeah for sure yeah. yeah and i think for me the only th other thing that i would say is like if you're a person that moves a lot um maybe you know just reconsider a different avenue in this career um, or just, other than yeah just like the adjust your, the expectations yeah. like if yeah. you're not going to stay somewhere long enough to build yeah. a whole book <laughs> find you know maybe a place where that's not really the clientele that they service like right. maybe i was gonna they say have more of a or yeah. stay big in your social media and mm -hmm. your following and yeah. your growing of your art or your hair and yeah. then this way when you you're kind of like sought out in in sense mm -hmm. yeah you know? like i'm envious I, there's a few hairdressers that i follow that aren't like influencers or famous or anything mm -hmm. and i the only ones that I like really have a little bit of envy for are the ones that are like, okay, you know, they work in Ohio, but you know, once every two months they go to Florida for a couple of weeks and have clients there. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah. that'd be cool to like yeah. go but you on could a few totally week vacation. I know. Like, that's I'm... totally. All right. Well then I am leaving. <laughs> well, no, I mean, not that I want to get rid of you, go drum but, up some clients but I would support anyone that that's doable. No, I like, no, you absolutely. Could, you know, like that's you what could... I'm saying is like, that's, that's kind of cool. Yeah, like, but just to go do a weekend in yeah. uh, at a florida salon or something yeah. like i do like, i do think you have the opportunity ability and opportunity ability to do that 100 i think people know you, just, you enough i'm just too lazy well, well maybe that another. part of it then yes then you won't but as an owner if i didn't support that Excuse or want me. that for you it just would be ridiculous yeah, yeah. like yeah, no i know you, but unfortunately yeah. like i have the guy that everyone bosses. wants everywhere yeah. you know yeah. like yeah. you and i don't know it's just people are so all right so quick maybe, maybe to I'll just work on that not think for one one second of 
at the end of the day, you still like getting back to the beginning of this conversation. Like if we said you didn't have to do men's haircuts, you didn't love it. Or Danielle came to the salon and she loved doing keratin treatments and she had clients that she wanted. So now then we offered keratin treatments. Danielle would want to do them, you know? Yeah. And I just feel like it's about making money. But if you're forcing, like you're saying a bunch of people to do a bunch of things that they're just getting through their day. Then at the end of the day, yeah. who's happy and like where are you making that money? That yeah. that that employee is not pushing themselves anymore. They're probably looking to push themselves to see what else is out there. Right. Really. Yeah. yeah. So it's just kind of. I definitely it's like feel an outside like this the is box the kind of job thinking. that if you don't have passion, it's not going to work for you. Like yeah, this job no. can be so exhausting. But it's nice to know how many avenues there are in this right. industry to yeah, make so that money. So you figure out where that passion mm -hmm. would be. Maybe but it's not, yeah. less chatting about someone's kids and more just mm -hmm. doing a slick ponytail to send down a runway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, all right. So I think that's pretty much... Did you want me to tell you what anyone was saying in the chat? Oh, yeah. Let's yeah, let's run that down. Well, and then, no. we'll, and then we'll do trivia. <laughs> Silence them. Well, ever, you know, there's always the good mornings. Um, and your Uncle Steve did say that the home, your hometown just missed a tornado by like 16 miles. Oh, but, uh, Jesus. And, uh, that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's um, scary. Michelle had said that she's been doing hair for 40 years. She loves doing hair. Always gravitated towards the seniors or families and little kids. Unfortunately, your seniors pass away at some point and your family sometimes move away. So you kind of um, have to reinvent yourself, which isn't always easy. I realize now that I do not want to do updos. I don't want to do the prom and the dances and stuff like that because I've done enough of them and it's really nerve wracking and I just feel like I can't do them anymore. Amen. And that's OK. Yeah, that is OK. Um, yeah. We're yeah. here to tell you it's OK. I'm really <laughs> I'm coming out of that, too. Like, I just don't do it anymore. So it just is daunting to have to it's daunting but also like if you don't have a passion for it yeah you know and you're not studying it and keeping up on it and all that stuff and then and then it takes up a good amount of time on a saturday when you could be doing things that you are passionate about and make money and and as you build in this business you have less and less time so you want to fill that time with things that you like doing right so yeah Cool. And then Andrew said, in an industry that's always changing, I feel it's pretty natural and even positive in the sense of a new perspective to have different seasons, per se, of what you want to focus on, which yeah. is a nice way to put it, too. Yeah. Like and that. then we can do this for next week. Actually, it's a good conversation and topic. Okay. Marissa is asking what your opinions are on salon suites. So we could like talk about a little bit of that as yeah. next week. I mean, it won't be a whole show, but. Yeah, we could fill. Right, I wrote it down. We can fill a half hour we with anything. Well, we <laughs> it could lead into stuff, but we just don't have time for all of, like for that right now. But. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can just come to this show with a sentence and <laughs> yeah, figure it out. Pick a word out of a hat and okay. watch us go. <laughs> I love it. Um, all right, so let's do some trivia. Uh, da, 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 uh, trivia. Get to hear the trivia. Oh, yeah, Brian gets yeah. the trivia but hey, music. before we go into the trivia. Um, Carly has one. <laughs> this is brought to you by our friends at formulate.co slash Matt Beck. If you're looking for uh, your custom formulation, go take the quiz. See how I tied that in? No. <laughs> um, go take the quiz. Formulate.co slash Matt Beck. You can get custom. Fashion. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a custom formulation for your hair and skin. And I'm also going to be uh, doing a little sit down conversation virtually to bring on to the podcast in the next coming couple weeks with the owner of Formulate. We're going to talk about formulation oh, cool. and all that stuff. So uh, you guys will get a good idea. We're going to talk about beauty school myths that people <laughs> feed us. I love that. About wax and all that stuff in the hair. And is it true? We're going to need that more than half a hour show that day. Yeah. Okay. We gotta get here early that day. Well, I'm interviewing him on Wednesday, so. Oh, it's not live. We're not like all shooting it. No, I mean I could bring him on live if you'd rather do that. We just only have a half an hour, so it's hard. You Susan said, "Formulate never got in touch with her." <gasps> That's probably my fault. I actually did get in touch with them, but then I think they asked me what I'm, they're supposed to send her, just like the code or whatever. Yeah. So, Susan, I'm gonna put that. <laughs> Let me write that down, too. Sorry, Susan. You made the list. Susan, it is not Formulate's fault, I promise. It's always probably my fault. Susan Prize. Okay. I will get that done as soon as we're off the air today. Embarrassing. All right, Brian. Quiz. Okay. So I looked this up. 
And then I double checked to make sure that I wasn't putting false information out there because it's not <laughs> what this show is about. Uh, and I learned that there is a point in your existence where you develop all the hair follicles that you're ever going to have and you'll never grow any more. What point in your existence does that happen? That you won't grow any more follicles? That you'll have that you have all the ones you're ever gonna have till the day you die. Wow. I also didn't know that that mm. was how that worked. I didn't either. So So there's an end to this. It, it, it's over. You got all you're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So what are we looking for? A date? Uh, age? Yeah, like a, 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 there's an average age that average age at that point you've grown all the hair follicles you're ever going to grow. And we've decided it's closest to right, yeah. but not over. Yeah, it's w- yeah. yeah. Let's just do closest to because there's not over thing. Oh God! When you're asking us through all of time when <laughs> highlights first started. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm so gonna say get close. I'm gonna say. Sixty-three. Ladies. <laughs> Forty. I'm gonna say toddler. Or do you want me to say an age? Just give us an age. Um twelve to twenty-four months. Christina gets the point. Ugh, because crazy. the answer is actually five months in utero. You are born with every hair follicle you're ever going to oh, have. Wow. Oh, I get the question. Oh. Okay. okay. I, that was literally... <laughs> Excuses. No, I, I still wouldn't have got I it couldn't, right. I couldn't have made it. It won. <laughs> no more ghost point. Christina's actually <laughs> four. She's cranking wow. the music up. <laughs> so when I was, when I was reading right? about it... That's like, Christina's <laughs> celebration. I still, I still was way off, but I won. <laughs> well, you were close. Uh, so when I was reading about it, I was saying like stuff that we kind of have heard about in the past, but forgot hair contains information about everything that has ever been in your bloodstream, such as medicine, drugs, minerals, and vitamins. And the only thing that can't be identified by hair is gender. Wow. Because it's not physical. (laughs) All right. Was that a phone drop? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right. We got the wheel. The mic's way too expensive. (laughs) Yeah. Come on. I'm not stupid. All right, so on the wheel today, we're giving away some awesome stuff. Oh, and if you want to spin it, then let us know in the chat right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. Andrew was like, well, guess I'll hang up one, hang up on one day growing a beard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so on the wheel, we have uh, Mevo's giving away uh, tickets to an upcoming Mevo on tour. We also have Minerva Beauty is giving away this really cool uh, cart. Which is over there, but you guys can't see it, but <laughs> was like, it'll be where? on the edit somewhere. And then um, we also have formulate.co giving away a free formulation as long as I email them. And then try razor, FSE scissors, combs. We got it all on there. The Evo razor. So uh, give it a spin. Oh, wait, we got it. We don't know who it is. I think we should do Marissa. Marissa. Okay. Marissa is a young stylist and gave that question. I think it's Marissa's spinning the wheel. All right, Marissa, let's see. Oh, oh no way. Okay. <laughs> it's weird. What are you doing? It's, <laughs> save us money. Somebody else has to spin. <laughs> it's been like the fifth comb in a row. She's like, I'm trying to save us money. It's but, rigged. Yeah, it doesn't save us mine. money. Everything else comes from somebody else. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's oh, true. You just told me no, that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll spin it different next week. <laughs> yeah, let's send Mevo. <laughs> All right, let's make, the, should we make an executive decision again? Let's send her an Evo razor. It was close enough. I'm going to change those all to Evo razors. It's the okay. wheel. No, you don't do this once and all your viewers. What is wrong with you? I'm going to, I'm taking it the comb off. It is what it is. All right. Well, next week you can't do that. Cause what if like the third. <laughs> just all right. All right. Just draw a razor onto the comb. Marissa, Marissa, email uh, Matt at free salon education.com. Put wheel winner in the subject. And then I just need your address and your full name. I think that's it. Address, full name. I just like how that sounds. I'm the wheel winner. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a little kid's accent. Yeah. Got it. All right. That's it. That's the oh. show. That was great. It's always fun. Clients are here. 
So Fridays. Thank fun you. Fun Fridays with Friday with you guys. It is a fun way to start the weekend, like to kick off like a, yeah. you know. This is the longest I get to talk to you guys all week. That's why, <laughs> that's why I come here. That's not true because if you have a break, you do come and talk to me. Yeah, but this is the longest I get to do while you're looking at me. Mm. <laughs> I'm not in the middle and of I'm something else doing... and I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> that is kind of, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, can you All write right. that on a post-it? <laughs> so uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, make sure you follow us on everything social media-wise uh, at Free Salon Education. Also follow Brian. Hairstyle. And Carly. Hi, my Carly C. I almost said hairstyle again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, no. She's like, just go to Brian's. That's fine. I'm yeah. probably in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and just just make sure you support companies that support this show and and we just keep it growing and make sure you comment uh so that we can hear that you watched it how much you like the show if you don't like the show just let us know yeah. just let us know in the comments um and then uh but yeah support minervabeauty.com uh formulate uh, mevo come see my class on june 10th if you're in the tri-state area um or want to fly into new york um uh, for a half an hour thing um can you say the email one more time for marissa yeah matt at free salon education.com cool thank you guys okay bye have a great great weekend. weekend and we'll see you guys on the next one Bye. bye